Hello everyone, time to take a look at another TV in my collection. This is a vintage RCA Victor black and white set. It's a KCS 130YF chassis. I don't know the model number because the model number tag is long gone and I haven't really researched it yet. It does work, as you can see, uh, we have just uh, snow on the screen, that's because I have no antenna connected to it or any um, uh, DTV set-top box or anything like that. So I just wanted to demonstrate that it does work and pretty soon I'll get an antenna connection in here and we'll uh, have some actual TV programming that we can show on these uh, vintage TVs. Anyway, um, so there it does have sound. <laughs> anyway, it is a VHF only set and uh, I also assume that the UHF tuner, if it had one, would probably go right there. Um, although I don't know that for sure because I've not looked at the SAMs or anything or any service literature on it to know for sure. Um, but you have your contrast control and power on volume. In the bottom here you have brightness, horizontal and vertical. And we'll have a look at the back. This is also a 110 degree deflection CRT, just like that Motorola we just looked at. And so it's a very thin set. There, you can see, you can see some tubes glowing in there. There's a horizontal output tube and uh, probably a horizontal oscillator. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I looked at this chassis. But it does have an in intact antenna right there. It's all there. And uh, it's a metal case set with a plastic front and a plastic back. So, uh, very uh, iconic RCA late 50s design here. I do believe the tuner was a little dirty. You can kind of see it's a little bit dirty, but at some point, maybe the next video I do on this set will hook a DTV box up to it and uh, actually show some TV. Anyway, um, I will pause the video right now and pull the back off. We'll have a look at the inside. Okay, here's a look inside the uh, RCA KCS-130YF black and white TV. A little bit different chassis design than the Motorola we just looked at. Also, one thing that you notice I failed to mention on the Motorola is that it is a series string transformerless set. Well, this set is a transformer set, so... Uh, Luckily, it's not a series string. Anyway, you can see it's uh, it's had quite a few more hours of use. It looks like there's a lot of dust in here and uh, some tired old components. That one of these days, uh, if I ever get some time and uh, ambition on this set, I'll probably do some recapping and uh, you know look for out of tolerance resistors and whatnot. But I'll leave it alone for now since it is in a uh, working state. Anyway, uh, one thing that's kind of fun here. See that tube right there? That's an RC, or <laughs> that's a Canadian Rogers tube. So it's kind of fun to use some uh, bizarre uh, branded tubes in your uh, sets. So um, that's kind of cool. Anyway, this is the interior. Now one thing that was weird about this set when I first got it was there was absolutely no sound. I pulled the back off and had a look at it and noticed that the speaker wire right here was spliced and uh, then there was a small black twisted pair cable that was uh, leading outside the back of the set so the previous owner had an external speaker wired up to it instead of the internal so I got rid of all that and hooked the internal speaker back up so that the the uh, audio would work. Anyway, I guess it's not that interesting of a set on the inside, but uh, it is a little bit different design than that Motorola, and this I think was typical of the uh, portable RCA sets back in the day. They're, they had these uh, vertical chassis like this with the tubes pointing straight out, uh, right out, out the back, uh, to or towards the back, excuse me. Anyway, there you have it for this RCA KCS 130YF chassis set. And uh, be sure and stay tuned. There will be more videos coming up.